Does humanity have a special place in the universe? What is the meaning of our personal lives? I believe that we've learned enough about the universe and ourselves to ask these questions in an answerable, testable form. This is the meaning of human existence. So, as best as we can answer, just what are we? The key to the great riddle lies in the circumstance and process that created our species. The human condition is a product of history, not just the six millennia of civilization, but very much further back, across hundreds of millennia. The whole of it, biological and cultural evolution, must be explored in seamless unity for a complete answer to the mystery. When viewed across its entire traverse, the history of humanity also becomes the key to learning how and why our species arose and survived. Most important to the growth of humans is the brain. The expansion of the human brain was one of the most rapid episodes of complex tissue evolution in the history of life. With the brain came complex thought, language, religion. These are what make humans unique. The stories that compose the conscious mind cannot be taken away from the mind's physical, neurobiological system which serves as scriptwriter, director, and cast combined. The self, despite the illusion of its independence created in the scenarios, is part of the anatomy and physiology of the body. According to Wilson, humanity arose as an accident of evolution, a product of random mutation and natural selection. For the 400 million years that large animals have occupied the land, Homo sapiens has been the only one to evolve intelligence high enough to create a civilization. On another note, human beings are not wicked by nature. We have enough intelligence, goodwill, generosity, and enterprise to turn Earth into a paradise, both for ourselves and for the biosphere that gave us birth. We can plausibly accomplish that goal, at least be well on the way, by the end of the present century. The instability of the emotions is a quality we should wish to keep. It is the essence of the human character and the source of our creativity. We need to understand ourselves in both evolutionary and psychological terms in order to plan a more rational, catastrophe-proof future. Science and the humanities, it is true, are fundamentally different from each other and what they say and do, but they are complementary to each other in origin, and they arise from the same creative processes in the human brain. If the heuristic and analytic power of science can be joined with the introspective creativity of the humanities, human existence will rise to an infinitely more productive and interesting meaning.